everybody, and welcome into the Westwood Living Podcast. Tom Lydon with you at the Muffin House with Carrie Aglugub from KMA Web Design. How are you doing this morning, Care? I'm doing really well. It's good. You're a repeat customer, which is always great because I think our world is ever evolving, and it actually is reflective of your industry because your industry in web design and SEO and digital marketing, that changes every day. So yeah, did we speak more than a year ago? Yeah, yeah I we think did. It was last <laughs> fall or last winter. Yeah, a lot's changed since. So I'm looking forward to kind of learning more about you, your business. We've now done some work together. You did the amazing work helping us relaunch westwood-living.com, which I'm so appreciative for. And it's gotten great feedback. So thank you, number one. That's the number one thing I have to get on the table. Thank you for everything you and your team did. And I have very unique knowledge of, of the inner workings of what working with you is like. So I can attest to that. But a lot of questions I have for you start at the beginning. First of all, you're a Westwood resident. You grew up here, family of four kids, all went through the Westwood system. Just give me your experience of, of living here and how you've seen things change over the years. Yeah, so I graduated from Westwood High yeah, my family is still in town. As far as like how Westwood has changed, it was always a small town and I was eager to go to a big school after graduating from Westwood High. I graduated with 111 kids. So yeah, I was ready for the next chapter. I moved away. I also like studied abroad in college. So I was definitely looking for new, new adventures. We were looking to buy a house and looking around to this area because my family was here. And we ended up back in Westwood. So it, it was a great decision. A lot of the people I grew up with are still in Westwood. So they remain friends and it's making new friends. And, you know, having um, the kids, all, my kids also in the school system, uh, always making new connections. Um, and then with my business, a lot of my clients are local too. So that's always great. There's a lot of con like connections that just happen organically and naturally just from having a good community and network here. What originally drew you to the World Wide Web and everything surrounding it? Because KMA Web Design does a lot of different things, but you always have to stay on your toes because things consistently change. So what was it that attracted you to that world at the beginning? So I was a liberal arts major in college and always enjoyed like the humanities. And um, I worked for a law firm when I got out of college, thought, you know, that would be a good path for me. I think what I was always looking for was something creative. When I found web design and development, that definitely kind of satisfied, you know, what I was looking for. The thing that struck me at first is the immediacy, the reach that you can achieve through the web. So, I mean, you can publish something on a website and it's immediately accessible to the entire world. It's a pretty powerful tool. It offers complete flexibility in terms of design, messaging. It has the combination of technology behind it. So all of those things combined definitely attracted me to it. Before we started recording this, we talked briefly about what do you think it is that makes people want to do business with you? Because beyond your creative outlet, which you just touched on, is that you have had to figure out how to run a business and what works and what makes you attractive as a business owner and what makes your business attractive to potential clients. So over the course of time, you've received some great honors. You were named the Neponset River Regional Chamber of Commerce Businesswoman of the Year a couple years ago, which was a great feather in your cap and well-deserved. But what, in your experience or after all this time, have you learned to be the most important things that make your business successful? What I hear from some people is my years doing what I've done, so my experience. I'd say that's one component. I've been doing web design development for over 20 years. With that comes a level of experience and competence that I think people appreciate. And then also a level of trust. So I think that needs to be inherent in any kind of business relationship. Just having someone you can trust that you know is going to give you good guidance and advice on your online presence really goes a long way. Use me as an example. I'll speak first on my end. You know, I came in with a vision. I'm like, this is what I want. And it was a big vision. And I knew kind of what I wanted it to look like. But you knew the steps that were necessary to take to get it to where we wanted it to be. And those didn't always necessarily jibe, and I had to defer to your experience and expertise and say, okay, good, but you know what I want, help me get there. 
And that's what I found to be so fulfilling about what we did together. And the other thing that I think anybody who enters this relationship should know is that, folks, it's the web and it can change any day. And if there's a mistake that you find at 9 a.m., that mistake can be fixed at 9.15. And that's going to be part of the process. And I'm cool with that. I know that there are going to be things that we throw against the wall like spaghetti and it may not stick. But that's the nature of where we are in 2024. So do you find that to be part of your experience, too, that you're like, okay, big shot. I know you got big ideas, but let me hold your hand here and get you to the finish line. Yes, definitely. So every business, every client I work with is very different. Everyone starts at a different level of knowledge when it comes to marketing. So we definitely have a process we follow. We start at the beginning with the business goals and what you're trying to achieve. And then we create a path, you know, knowing what we do about web development, design, usability that gets you to a place where you can achieve your goals online. So with Westwood Living, it was definitely a really interesting project. A lot of unique elements, which is perfect for the kind of work we do because we build custom websites. So they really are completely flexible. So I'm really happy we were able to deliver kind of a really custom, awesome experience for the people who are reading all the great content you have. I appreciate that. And what I love most is that we went in with you understanding like i want to be able to control this once we've set up the infrastructure i want to be able to go in there and access it and change it and update it and you know dot the i's cross the t's not everyone's like that though so talk about the the clients that you have that are almost 100 percent hands off and entrust you to do everything when it comes to maintaining their site on a pretty daily basis. There are definitely some clients like you who like to be able to update the website. And I mean, that's the beauty of using a, a platform like WordPress, which is the most popular platform to build a, a website on. So that's what we built Westwood Living on. A lot of the websites we build are in WordPress. So you have the option. It's a very flexible, easy to use interface for updating content and then there are some clients who are happy just to send our support desk requests and we just take care of it for them. So so it can go either way. It's a little different. And you have a number of companies that you work with locally who people are familiar with. So just give a little roster of those sites that people may have interacted with without even realizing that it was KMA Web Design that was providing the muscle and infrastructure behind it. I mean, the one that jumps out to me, obviously, because I'm a big ice cream junkie is Bubbling Brook, right? I know, but there's far more beyond just bubblingbrook.net that you've worked on. Yeah, so Bubbling Brook is a great example. If anyone's you know, gone to a chamber event or anything like that, we worked with the Neponset River Regional Chamber on their website a few years ago. Let's see, Friends of Norwood Center, a nonprofit in Norwood Center, Vico Norwood, Norwood Space Center, the list goes on. Well, listen, what I love about it is that any local business, their first call should be to you because you could go talk to somebody who lives in another state or a company that's huge that is not within shouting distance, or you can work with your neighbor who's unbelievable at this, right? That's what's amazing to me is that you've captured uh, an ability to do something that's so powerful worldwide, as you reference, that I hope people locally think of you first. And that's the whole point of what we're all trying to do is because like, you don't need to look that far outside of our window to find somebody who's an expert in what they do. So as you continue to grow, where do you see yourself, you know, two, three years? Part of the fun is not knowing, I guess, but do you have a vision for what KMA Web Design will be in 2026? Um, I mean, I think at the core, it's about helping businesses succeed online. So, I mean, that really is what we are, are doing with every client we work with. So it's about working with people who want to work with us too and um, see the value of working with someone local and the value of a professional, you know, customized to their branding and their goals and then just a strategic partner. So I think finding those partnerships and just growing from there is where we always want to be. And then the the long-term partnership is always great too. So typically when we build a website, we also support it and mm -hmm. we are their design and development and marketing partner. I can attest to the fact that I've shared stuff with you about my business just so that I know you know. Because I think if you know, it can apply to what we do on the website. And you say, okay, I understand what's important for that business. 
And that, that does come down to trust because I'm entrusting you with information that I may be telling you too much, but it does affect what we're both looking to achieve. So I appreciate that level of trust that you referenced before. I, wa I have one more question about SEO. What is it? What do people need to know about it? And how have you mastered it? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's about getting your website and your brands visible in search results. So when someone searches for, they may not know the name of Westwood Living, but they, they want to find like Westwood News or something like that. So using keywords to locate what you're looking for, whether it's a service or a product. There's a huge component of SEO that is also web development. So I think, I don't know if people make that connection, but if you use best practices in web development, which we do, um, you're already way ahead of you know your, your competitors. But I think it takes someone with that kind of knowledge and expertise to kind of understand how search engines work, how do you, come up in search results. I mean, it's all about being findable online. And I value that expertise. And what I think is great about uh, your now enhanced status with Westwood Living, you're one of our newest expert contributors. So what that means to you as a listener and a reader is that just occasionally, every once in a while, periodically, you're going to get the opportunity to read an expert column from Carrie that you know may not necessarily affect your life right now, but you should just be aware of because as your life continues to evolve, the things that Carrie is doing every day will impact you, whether that is search engine optimization or digital marketing. If you're starting a business, you're going to need a digital marketing partner, and Carrie can help you with that. So be on the lookout for the expert contributions. They'll be coming in, in print and online over the course of the next few months. And I appreciate your support and your friendship and your guidance and your partnership, and, and thank you more than anything else. I'm glad that this has taken the next step, because without you, we couldn't have achieved what I always really wanted to achieve with that new online presence. So I, I'm very appreciative. Yeah, thank you very much, Tom. <laughs> that is Carrie Aglugub from KMA Web Design. Uh, you can go to her website, kmawebdesign.com, and of course, continue to follow all of her expert columns here on Westwood Living. As always, if there's someone else you want me to have a conversation with, just reach out, tleiden at bestversionmedia.com. Get me that person's name, I'll find them, have the conversation, share that conversation with you right here on the Westwood Living Podcast Network. But for now, from the Muffin House with Carrie Aglugub, I'm Tom Lydon saying thanks for listening and so long. Mm -hmm.